This is a country that is falling apart day by day. We wanted a move from one area of the capital, Port-au-Prince, to another, crossing two rival gang territories. Sky News contacts insisted we had a police escort. Machine guns ready, they cleared a way through. It is that bad. The officers were wary. Ten policemen were killed here in the last week. Haiti has been bad for years, but this is a new development. There is now no elected controlling authority at all. Some countries are actively considering sending in foreign soldiers to impose order. Port-au-Prince is a seething mass of desperate people. 60% of the city is under gang control. There are over 100 groups, and that is who the international force would face. After weeks of negotiation, we were guided by a motorcycle rider into the heart of one of the most notorious gang-controlled areas. We came to meet a man known to everyone as Barbecue. He says sending in foreign forces would be a disaster. I think the second intervention is that the community international is very lucid to be able to take care of and to dialogue with everyone. But if we try to resolve it with exam, I think that effectivement, il y a beaucoup de gens populaires au Cameroun, en plein monde. Et il y a plus de plus de gens populaires, il y a plus de plus d'innocents qui sont coupables. Jimmy Chirizier est un former policeman. Il est sous sanctions du UK pour ses actions ici. Mais il reste l'un des plus puissants hommes en Haïti aujourd'hui et il ne veut pas être interrompu. Hé 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 Hé